Hey friends, how's it going? We're doing some fall decorating today. I know it's a little bit early for some of you. I actually am an early decorator. Usually by the end of August, I'm like getting all my fall decor out. But this year I'm doing it even earlier because I want to provide some inspiration for you and I'm gonna give you some budget friendly ideas because I'm all about saving money, as you guys know. So let me go ahead and show you what I kind of have planned for the space. I'm gonna light a fall candle, put some music on, and we're just gonna decorate. Here's a quick look at what we've got for today's Decorate With Me. 90% of it is thrifted, probably 95% of it. I did go pick up some dried florals from Hobby Lobby. I love this dyed eucalyptus. I used this last year and I plan to use it again this year. So I picked up a couple of those. Um, we're gonna be updating the gallery wall and there will be some DIYs and tips and tricks with that. And yeah, I think you can kind of get the feel for the color palette that I'm going for. I think it's gonna be really pretty and really cozy. So let's go ahead and get started. I had a stroke of genius and came up with an idea to turn these prints into autumnal prints by changing the coloring using Lightroom presets. So I'm gonna do a really quick tutorial. If you're not into this, you can just skip to three minutes, 22 seconds. If you don't have Lightroom, there is a free mobile version. So essentially what I did is I went and grabbed some free public domain images and I applied Lightroom presets over them to change the colors and make them look like they were fall prints. I think this is a wonderful, inexpensive little tip to switch out the artwork in your house without spending a ton of money. So the presets you can buy online on Etsy.com. The specific ones that I used were called Pumpkin Spice and this actually comes with five presets. I'm gonna link this down below for you. It literally costs $1.98. And now there is a little bit of um, learning how to kind of save them and apply them. Um, it's not terribly difficult, but you may have to do a little bit of research on that. This specific print was one that I purchased a long time ago from Etsy and I kind of did the same thing here. So if you've already purchased landscape prints, you can apply your presets to it. And I will say presets are not one size fits all. You do need to do some adjusting sometimes. So specifically with this one, it looked very sepia toned. So the sky and everything was just a little bit too brown. So what I ended up doing with this, after I applied the preset that I wanted, I went into the settings and just took the saturation down on that coloring just to make it look a bit more natural. So you'll see me kind of do that here and how that changes it a little bit. And then there are some other things you can do to tweak it. Um, messing with the highlight a little bit, I kind of changed it to blue so that the sky didn't have such a gray and brown tint to it, but more of a blue tint. And then I adjusted the brightness on that. So you can kind of see how it changed this and made it look a little bit more realistic. Here's the before and the after. And now we're going to apply some Mod Podge over the top. This is a technique I've seen others use. This is my first time doing it and I absolutely love the way it turned out. A lot of times I see people recommending matte Mod Podge. All I had was an outdoor version, but the main thing here is just to apply it and move quickly so that you are not kind of going over what's already dried. And I just kind of did back and forth X motions on the entire thing. And this is going to leave you with an oil painted texture. So this makes it look very like realistic. I actually just got these prints done at FedEx. They were like 69 cents per print. Plus I bought their cardstock because I forgot to bring my own, but um, very inexpensive. I knew this just being a seasonal item. It just didn't need to cost a ton of money to switch these prints out. This is a really easy way, especially if you're gonna use those public domain free images. Um, this one is my favorite. I absolutely love this print. I think it's really beautiful. And you can see that texture here. Super fun. I don't know if you were to do on regular computer paper if it would kind of wrinkle your paper to do the Mod Podge technique, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start hanging them up here. I will tell you, I broke my camera filming this. This video took me so long to get out because I had to buy a new camera. And so there's some footage of me doing some decorating that's not in here, um, including switching out some of these prints. But this is the end result of the gallery wall update and I really love it. I really needed this change in here and I'm excited to have found kind of some new techniques to use.
moving over to this mantle, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did say that this is going in our living room and it still is, but I thought it would be really fun to keep it in here for fall and Halloween, just to have a different backdrop in my filming space. And then before Christmas time, we're gonna move it into the living room. So for fall, I really wanted to keep all of the big decor pieces off of the mantle and I wanted it to look very whimsical and just fill it with natural elements. So I've got some stems in here and using this dried eucalyptus that's dyed this like beautiful wine burgundy color and i love the way this looks i think it looks very like fairy tale cottage in the forest which is exactly what i was going for Now moving on to our cozy tablescape, if you watched my last video, you know that I had found one of these crochet doilies and I said I needed more. Well, the next week at an estate sale, I found more. So I decided to use them instead of a runner down the center of the table and then place these amber glass bottles on with some different stems in them. I love amber glass for fall. I think it's so fitting because it's just so warm and beautiful. So I've got those kind of running down the center with different stems in them that kind of all carry the same um, color palette that I'm going for. And then we're gonna use the bamboo chargers and my favorite Target beaded white plates. Initially, when I was planning for this tablescape, I had envisioned using grapevine wreaths as chargers instead of these bamboo chargers. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a pack of six, not realizing that it only came with two big ones and four small ones. So what I ended up doing is just finding two more of the small ones and then using them on top of the plates with a little bowl inside and a eucalyptus leaf just to kind of carry that look throughout the tablescape added some brass candlesticks, and here is our cozy fall tablescape. This floral hanging, I found this at a garage sale. I shared it in a recent thrift haul. It cost me $2, but when I saw it, I envisioned it in this exact spot. I was gonna take the ribbon off in the middle, but I actually just glued a flower over it and I think it looks pretty good. But what I like so much about it is the ceiling is vaulted over in this little area and this helps to kind of draw your eye up and just kind of elongate that space a little bit. So then I wanted to continue that on over on this other side. So I switched the mirror out. The mirror that I'm replacing it with is actually special to me because it was given to me by my aunt. I actually received it this day that I was filming and it used to belong to my great grandma and my aunt said she always remembered seeing it growing up in my great grandma's spare bedroom. So when she passed, it was just one of those things that she thought was special and took home, but she never really found a spot for it. So she passed it to me and I absolutely love it. The little mirror that I placed above it, I got actually that exact same day for $5 at a garage sale. I moved my cinnamon brooms up. I really need to get new ones these are from last year they just never left and now it's fall again so we're gonna keep them I'm just gonna go ahead and style the shelves here and let you kind of watch that
I would have loved to have filled this entire thing up with vintage books. I just don't have enough yet. I am growing my collection and I just love, it looks very cottagey, but books in general are just great as risers or you know, lots of different uses in decor. And this little chest was where the mantle was, so I'm sure you recognize it. I moved it underneath the bookshelf, which means I had to switch my entire seating area over here, which was a little bit of a struggle, but I got something figured out, you'll see here in a little bit how that turned out. And then I've kind of made it a point to add a little teapot in every video since my mom's passing. And it's just a little something to represent her in each of my videos. She was such a big part of my life and I miss her so much. Um, I'm also gonna add this star garland that I made last year for Christmas and some twinkle lights over here as well, just to give this area a whimsical touch and kind of carry that same feeling of, you know, magic over to this side of the room. a quick little fall DIY using this faux plant that I got from Target probably a year or two ago. It was part of the Studio McGee line. It's like a little olive tree, kind of a medium size. It's not quite like a floor plant, but it's a little bit bigger than just a tabletop plant and it really kind of needs its own space. So I don't have a good permanent spot for it, but I could definitely use it seasonally. So I decided I'm going to paint the leaves. We're going to make them kind of a reddish color make it look like fall. Never done this before, so I don't know how it's going to go but we're gonna give it a shot and see. I was thinking about selling it and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna try to give it a little makeover, see if I can get some other use out of it. I'm gonna just start like pulling them off. I think I'll just start one at a time and pull them down and start painting them. Acrylic paint dries pretty quickly. I don't plan on finishing it with anything, so I guess we'll just see what happens. So this technique did take a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. You could definitely try to find a color that you like in spray paint and it would probably be a bit quicker, but I did paint them front and back. So I kind of brought them with me in the evenings as we were watching TV to kind of work on over a few days time. And um, I think it was totally worth it. But I will say when it came time to starting to put them back on the tree, they didn't all fit in every spot so it was a little bit of a challenge to try to get them back on there but i actually really like the way it turned out and you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of my follive tree
I hope today's video provided you with some inspiration for your fall decorating this year. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and we'll see you very soon in a brand new video.